Hey everyone, Regent of Valley Ridge. Purpose of today's video is to talk about marksmanship. Firearms, just like any other industry out there, has a huge pervasiveness towards buying things. When the topic of marksmanship comes up, without fail, things that come in and uh, to play are, are topics like, oh, you just need to put that trigger in there. Oh, you just need to get this barrel. Oh, you just need to, to get this whatever, whatever trinket that you can think of people will say will help you have better marksmanship. Well, this is not only absurdly false, but it's actually quite destructive to many things. With firearms, these take the forms of, as I said, barrels, triggers, certain sights or optics. I mean, all of these can, can go across the board and, and people will always fall into the, into the trap of if I just buy this, then my shooting's gonna improve. Well, I've got news for you. Your shooting doesn't improve by any of that at all. In fact, you cannot buy shooting. You cannot buy marksmanship. And there's a basic things that you need to follow when it comes to going out and actually practicing and going out to training and actually working on your fundamentals and how to apply marksmanship. Well, first let's define what marksmanship is. I mean, the late great Colonel Jeff Cooper said that marksmanship is accuracy upon demand. Well, when we're practicing, we're practicing to get better, to improve. No matter how good that somebody is as a shooter, they can always improve when they go to the range. We all wish we could shoot the same hole at any speed, whether it's you know a 10 second par or a, a tenth of a second par. We wish we could all put them through the same hole. It doesn't happen. So we've got to make sure that we improve in this. When it comes to gear equipment, understand this, that, that that industry has one goal and that's to separate you from your money, okay? It's like, oh, we gotta go buy this and that. I mean, I can't tell you how many times uh, that I've heard, oh, this is a game changer in the industry. This is a game changer. This this sight is a game changer. This ammo is a game changer. This, uh, this barrel, this trigger. We hear it again and again and again. Marksmanship is not a problem to be solved by buying anything. In fact, there's really three things that will help you get better at marksmanship, and it won't cost you a single penny. So let's go ahead and figure out what that is. First things first, you need to execute fundamentals every shot. That means have a pretty good sight alignment, have a good sight picture, manipulate the trigger, and follow through in calling your shots. If you do that each and every time that you fire a shot, it's going to be fine. You're more likely than not going to put the round exactly where you want it. That doesn't cost a thing. The second thing you need to do about marksmanship is you need to make sure that you're working your positions with a rifle. That would include standing, sitting, kneeling, prone, and, and, and for you guys on the shooting bench, okay, just stop being on the shooting bench. Stop. Go out in the field, work your prone positions, work your kneeling, work your sitting, work your standing, because those are the positions that you're going to be using if you've got to defend your house or your neighborhood or anything in between there. I've never seen anybody drag a shooting bench to a gunfight, so get off of the shooting bench. And in fact, a shooting bench can be very counterproductive to your marksmanship. Uh, we don't have a crutch of having the rifle right up here and settled in nice and, and having everything like that. It's just pointless. Get off the shooting bench, okay? Like, get off of it. It, it breeds bad habits. It makes you lazy. It doesn't do anything. Well, you could say, well, Reed, I use it to zero my rifle. Hey, you know what's really good to zero your rifle? A good prone position, a good sitting position, a good kneeling position. You know, the positions that you're going to have to use in combat or positions that you're going to have to use when you're executing self-defense, those are the positions that I would zero my rifle in. And not just working those positions, folks. Stance is an important thing, too. And there's going to be people that will tell you your stance doesn't matter. Well, no serious martial artist in the world will tell you that stance doesn't matter. There's not a boxer out there that will tell you stance doesn't matter. There's no jits guy that's going to be out there, oh, stance with wrestlers, same thing. They're going to tell you it's a lot. It's a very important thing. And the world-class shooters that I talk to will tell you that your stance is important. And it does matter quite a great deal. We want forward center of gravity. There's videos out there. There's plenty of guys that have videos on how to have a proper stance when you're shooting. Especially Especially standing, it's, it's crucial that you do this in order to make your rounds go where they go. This is not within the scope of this video. There's plenty of guys out there that teach stance and have videos out there. Um, but I'm just telling you how to get good marksmanship results for free. It's not going to cost you a dime, but you want to work on these things. And the third thing that you're going to need to have your marksmanship improve, something you can't buy, is you need to hold your weapon properly. You need to have a good grip on it, have a proper grip. If you hold your rifle properly and you have a good grip on it, that's going to alleviate a lot of your marksmanship issues. The rounds will start going in the black. They're going to start going where they need to go if you do these things. And once again, there's plenty of videos out there that talk about this and describe how to do this. That's not the scope of this video. I want you to notice of all the three things that I just said, the work in the fundamentals, having a good stance and working positions, working a good hold on the rifle or the pistol and having a good grip. None of that 
is purchased. Not a single one of those. Those are things you actually go out and do, not buy. And if you work on these things and you go practice them and you, and you focus on it mentally with your dry practice and also your live fire, if you do these things, you're gonna notice a much greater improvement in your shooting than a brand new optic or a match grade barrel or a match grade trigger. None of those things will help you shoot better. And here's some good goals for you guys and gals out there. If you really want to know if your marksmanship is being worked on, and that you have a good grasp of marksmanship, here would be a good system or a good rule of thumb that I would use to make sure that you're executing marksmanship properly. Your goal with a rifle, with iron sights, Go out to 100 yards, hold a two to a three inch group in field positions, not on a shooting bench. And as I said, with iron sights, with a regular old rifle, go out there and hold it with regular old ammo and see if you can hold a two to three inch group in field positions, folks. That means unsupported prone. That means sitting. That means kneeling. If you can do that at 100 yards, then you've got a pretty good grasp of marksmanship with a rifle. For all of you out there with a pistol, with a stock pistol, okay, I'm not talking about your super gold combat delta tier 1000 1911. I'm not talking one of those. I'm talking about a carry gun, like a Smith M&P, Glock, whatever, SIG, aging, whatever you're carrying, it doesn't matter. Go out there at 25 yards with regular ammunition, 25 yards, and hold your rounds in a 6x6 six six bullseye or 6x6 six six square, hand, freestyle. That means standing with both hands. Do it. And if you could hold all your rounds in the black at 25 yards, shoot a 5, 10 shot group and see if you can do it. And if you can do that, that'd be a good benchmark to see, are you executing marksmanship? Are you applying the fundamentals? Is your grip proper? Is your stance proper? Because if any one of those is out of whack, I can guarantee you, you will not hold those rounds where they're supposed to go. Optics are not going to do this for you. A match grade barrel is not going to do this for you. Match grade trigger isn't going to do this for you. None of those things are going to do it for you. You have to go out there and do it. You have to go out there and execute the fundamentals and perform. You have to go out there and pay attention and stay focused enough to make sure that you're doing the right things each and every shot so that your rounds will go where they're supposed to go. None of the things that I mentioned cost you a penny. You can dry practice these in your own home. You can go out and verify it live fire at the range. It's all free. And I'll tell you guys and gals something that the more that I see students come to class with less and less equipment, the better off I feel. There are students in many of our classes where people with iron sighted rifles routinely outshoot people with buku magnification, whether it's a one to four, one to six, fix four, they will outshoot students with magnification. They will go and they will execute the fundamentals and listen and execute proper marksmanship and their rounds will go on the black. And then people with the latest high speed trinkets on their stuff, they can't put the rounds where they're supposed to go because they're not executing the fundamentals. They're not performing marksmanship. And none of the things that I mentioned will help you shoot better as if, you, if you just think it's a credit card solution to a fundamental issue. If you find the information in the video helpful, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook, that link is down below. And if you wanna learn how to apply marksmanship better, come on out to Valor Ridge and we'll teach you how to do just that. This is Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge reminding you the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.